Hello and welcome replay viewers. Welcome to my second attempt at this broadcast. Thanks for joining in. I thought I would go over my Halloween costume. My attempt to recreate Effie Trinket from the Hunger Games and show you all how I did it. Thanks for joining in. And I just thought I would show some of the tools and things I picked up in order to create Effie Trinket. This was an idea that we came up with because my, um, neither, <laughs> odd question. Oh my, we have a few people that need to go. Okay, uh, we have those people blocked. So that is all done now. Um, in order to create this costume, I was leading a book club. I was using the Brave Writer Boomerang Book Club Guides, and we were studying Catching Fire in a group of middle school girls. And to make it a little more memorable, when I showed up to host the first meeting, I um, came dressed as Effie Trinket. So it's a great Halloween costume. There's still enough time to put it together. So I thought I would share how I went about doing that. So the first thing that you will need is the lightest foundation that you could find. Thank you, I've had so much fun with this. This is the second time I got to do it and I have two more times next weekend. So I went and just bought the lightest shade I could, liquid foundation, um, I actually use powder. And in order to make it even lighter, I mix it in my hand with a little bit of baby powder. So that's gonna be your base. I'm actually gonna see if I can set this down. Here we go. Um, a little bit of foundation and baby powder, and that will make you your smooth, pale skin. And then what I did is I went to one of the girls up the street, one of the teenagers, and got a pink palette to go with the pink dyed wig. And you just um, put a nice bright pink color all over your lid, and then actually go ahead and run it under your eyes. And then I highlighted a little with some glitter up above here. Okay, so, and you wanna try to white out your eyebrows as much as you can. I don't own a white liner pencil, but if you do, you can kind of cover them, but cover them with foundation. Make sure you cover your lips with foundation too and just get everything a good base. After you've kind of um, gotten the pink on your eye, put a little white eyeshadow in the center there. Just with a little brush, you can go in and whiten that up. Let me see, just to give it a little highlight. Then of course you wanna put on mascara. Now when I do Halloween, you can actually grab false eyelashes at Target for a dollar. I wore them for the book club, but I'm saving these for Halloween weekend. I didn't use it tonight. We were just at a trunk or treat. And you can put those on. Obviously some mascara. Um, do not do anything with your eyebrows. You're trying to kind of wipe them out as much as you can. And then I actually didn't have a really pink blush, but you can go back in your eyeshadow palette and take that same pink and get some pink on your cheeks. And then when you do your lipstick, um, you actually want a little bit more of a purple color than I had, but make sure you're just putting it in the center. If you look at images of Effie, she does not do her lipstick all the way to the tips. So you just wanna put it kind of in the center of your lips, like that. And that will make a little bit more of an Effie Trinket look for you. And um, you also might want to pick up some lovely false nails. Let's see if we can get a... I also did not wear these tonight, but as crazy as you can find them. I've also seen fake eyesh, um, eyelashes that had like butterflies on them in Amazon. And you could get really nutty if you wanted to splurge a little. And then for the outfit, I actually just found um, a dress. Let me camera. There you go. And just found a dress at a consignment shop. And then I these butterflies um, from Joanne Fabrics. And then I did them on the shoes also. So you can grab, these were just actually in my closet. And I have a little butterfly on the shoe just to kind of bring the outfit together. These were just little paper butterflies. They're actually clip-ons. And I just sewed little hoops of thread here and I clipped the butterflies on and that worked really well um, and then this blonde wig 
was actually from Amazon. If you look it up, it's called the chaperone wig. I have no idea why it is the chaperone wig. And then I took a pink spray paint bottle and just spray painted some touches of pink all over it, you can see. And it came with this flower in it, but this flower was kind of lame. So I went to Joanne Fabrics and picked up this little headpiece and I was gonna remove the flower, but because I found black at Joanne Fabrics, they kind of went together and it adds the little flower. Of course, I was asked tonight at Trunk or Treat if I was Miss Hannigan. <laughs> So apparently, I can reuse this. I just might get some cheap necklaces and throw on more of a red-brown wig and be Miss Hannigan. Thanks, Jeanette. I love the butterflies. And actually, the reason I didn't sew these on, but I went with clipping them on, um, is when I'm done with this, I can remove them. And I have a... Um, 11 year old daughter who will love wearing them in her hair. So I thought, oh, perfect. I can just give them to her. They are paper, so they're a little sensitive. I've actually broken two already um, doing this outfit. So you just have to be careful with that. But I loved finding those butterflies. So that's it. That is my Effie Trinket costume. I would love to do another book club one day and be able to wear this. It was so much fun with the kids. I think it's gonna be so much fun on Halloween. I'm just going to stand at the door and when I open it, just say Happy Hunger Games instead of Happy Halloween and um, just say that everything is a capital affair. Everyone kind of figures out who you are as soon as you say Happy Hunger Games and start talking about a capital affair. All right. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll try to pop on Halloween. My oldest daughter is actually being Katniss and my second daughter is being Prim. And my boys are both dressed up as peacekeepers and my husband is dressed up as Gail. So we went with a theme this year and we have just been having a lot of fun with it. So hopefully that'll be memorable for everybody. Thanks a lot and hope you guys have a great Sunday evening getting ready for your week. I'll see you tomorrow and um, talk about some math games. All right. Bye-bye.